It's almost time for me to retire, but I'm sure glad before I do. All my old students, class of 2019, will be visiting. Ah, uh, yes, the eight-year reunion. I wonder what's been going on with all those kiddos. I already see some back in town. Our show for you. Isn't it so funny that after college and everything, we're still BFFs and we live together in Heart Lake City? <laughs> and our eight-year reunion dinner is tomorrow. I know, mate, but that reminds me. I need to tell you something. What is it? Well, I'm moving back to Australia full time. They offered me a great job and I can't refuse it and it's close to where the rest of my family lives. You're leaving me in Heart Lake City all alone? How can you? Mate, I mean, you can come with me, but I, I know you don't have a job or any way to support yourself. But I'll always be here for you and I'll visit all the time. Sophie, you broke my heart. Andrea, Andrea, HLC News just has to know. How does it feel to be back in Heart Lake City? After years of performing and being on tour, you're a rock star. Tell us about it, girl. Ha! <laughs> well, it's been crazy. I never thought that I wouldn't be going through college and that I would be making music and albums and tours and concerts and merchandise and just have all these fans that, like, actually genuinely care about me and love me. Like, it's really a dream come true, and I owe it to everybody who supported me along the way. Andrew, what are you doing? Mia, we've been dating for four years, and I think we've come really, really far. Will you marry me? Oh my god! Of course I'll marry you, Andrew. I love you to pieces. Oh, sweet baby girl, this is where mommy used to work. And where daddy used to visit her. Yup. Crazy times. Who would ever thought we'd be back in this hometown together, Steph? Like, actually together. Like, married with a baby. I know. Time really flew by, but I'm glad everything worked out for us. Me too. I hope my friend Olivia likes you, Marcos. I mean, she was like my best friend growing up. She's a really sweet girl. It's crazy to think that she's living in her old home. Oh, like her parents like moved out or something? Actually, her parents passed away in a car accident two years ago, and she moved back here ever since and kept the house up and running. Oh my gosh. That's really sad. Yeah, it really is. But you know, at least her parents got to be at her wedding with Steven three years ago. Yeah, that's cool. Too bad I wasn't there. Yeah, well, we've only been dating for six months, pal. Olivia, I think your friends are here. Uh, okay, nine months pregnant is getting rough. I'm hunched over and I feel like a whale. You're so beautiful, Olivia. I don't know why this is so comfortable to me, but my legs are propped up and it's, ah, uh, what a release on my stomach. Oh my goodness, Olivia, you are a glowing pregnant queen. Ah, uh, thanks. I mean, I don't feel like it, but uh, if I look like it, then that's all that counts, right? Uh, come here, come, come hug me. Hi, I'm Marcos, you must be Steven. Yep, nice to meet you. Yeah, that's Marcos, Olivia. Ooh, nice pick, Emma. This is so crazy. The house literally looks exactly the same. You even have your baby sister's nursery back up? Of course, that's where my baby boy is gonna go. It's a boy? Oh my goodness, congrats! There's going to be two more parts to this series, guys, so like this video and subscribe for more, and always comment any video ideas you may have, and they might be turned into reality, just like this one here. So, I will see you guys in the next one coming soon. There is going to be a lot in this little mini-series, and it's going to reveal the future of these characters on my channel.